Hello guys, I hope you're doing great. Today we'll be baking some uh, sea brim. So it's gonna be oven baked sea brim. I have six of them here. So that's what we're gonna use. But before we start baking, we have few things to do. So I'll show you some of the ingredients that I've already prepared. Cut, I'll uh, say. I have some here, red, uh, yellow, green peppers. Uh, the sweet pepper, so you know, these ones, the red one is sweet, the yellow one uh, not too, but in this one uh, they'll be strong, but three of them will give something very tasty. Now I've got some fresh parsley, I have some chopped tomatoes, I have uh, a lime, uh, you can use a lemon if you want to, and uh, I've got one chili, red chili, not too hot. I have some chopped uh, garlic, I have some chopped uh, shallot. I have uh, some uh, spring onion and uh, onion down here. I've got some chicken stock. I have uh, fish sauce. I have some vegetable uh, stock. I have some chive. I have oil. And then we will need uh, salt. So here we have uh, the salt. So that's what we will need. So stay tuned. And then um, uh, before we bake, as I said, we're gonna be doing some more uh, stuff. We're gonna make a bed for the fish. So we will be frying all those fish tables and then uh, we we'll use that for uh, the bed. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll show you the process. Thank you. Okay, we start the cooking process. Uh, we're gonna put some oil, the pan is hot. Uh, we're not gonna put too much oil, just a bit. And uh, we add uh, the chopped garlic. Onion. Tomatoes. Red, green, yellow paper. Stick. 
table stock. Gonna leave the whole thing simmer a bit. Okay, it's about time we add the, the spring onion. And uh, also the stock. So, what we do at this uh, stage, we're gonna add uh, the remaining stuff. Have the stock in there. We can add a bit of uh, fish sauce. Just a bit more. I'm gonna add uh, the parsley, I, uh, I don't wanna chop them so I'll leave them like that. Just wash it. We can add it later on when we uh, do the bed. Okay, now we have uh, our fish bed ready. So what we do, um, you're gonna put them in the tray. So uh, because of the size of the fish, so uh, cut them into two each. So we have uh, uh, more uh, parts now. So uh, keep an eye and see what we're gonna do. We take this one and we we'll fill it up just to make a bed and uh, we we'll use the other one to cover it or the, or the rest. Okay, once we finish that, so we start laying down the fish. So in the meantime, I'm preheating the, the, the oven. So uh, once we finish this one, it should be uh, ready to go straight in the oven. Time management. To the top layer.
just uh, decided to add uh, a bit of uh, uh, ginger so I'll just uh, slice them I'll just uh, put them like this maybe one in there and the other one and also I've got uh, the lime that I'm gonna squeeze of uh, parsley that I have here ready to go in the oven so we can put the top cover so that should stay in the oven for uh, less give it's fish so you know it doesn't take long so we're gonna give about 25 to half an hour in the oven at uh, 170 so it's all wrapped up and uh, as I said we're gonna put in the oven for uh, about 25 to 30 minutes at uh, 170 degrees okay guys we have uh, our sea bream completely ready so have a look how the whole thing is become and uh, what I'm gonna do is just uh, take a knife and then, you know, make a little cut. You see how ready it is. Wow, it's looking good. So, you know, this is a simple dish you can do for yourself, you can do for friends, and uh, it'd be great, you know, to try something new. Okay guys, straight from the oven, it's all ready. So, you know, as you can see how easy things are falling apart down here. So this is a simple dish you can do for your friends, for yourself. Do not hesitate to do something for yourself and that is a great dish. So please, after watching, uh, subscribe, like, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and God bless.